I was asked by the homeowner to come out and to do a valuation of this foundation that was concerning and to answer these questions that they had. And we're going to start right here in the backyard. We live in Arizona. Arizona is an arid climate. None of these foundations here in the desert region, lower levels, and here in Arizona uh, have waterproofing. So the last thing that is done when the house is built, they paint these homes down to the top of the soil. And this area here is getting damp below the paint line underneath there. And then the moisture comes up and evaporates leaving efflorescent salt chewing into the concrete, delaminating the paint, as we're seeing here. So it takes moisture to do this. Moisture, or water, is the transportation mechanism of efflorescent salt deposits. This is also uh, the degradation of the surface, spalling of this epoxy coating that's on top of here. So there's definitely moisture because what we're seeing here is all about moisture. So where is the moisture coming from? Well, in this area, the concentration of this rough rainfall and this valley right here, landing here, and the soil elevation is relatively flat, relatively speaking. And it does gently slope this direction. So a recommendation is going to be, in order to stop the degradation of the surface of the foundation, when you do paint, paint below the soil moisture content and reduce the amount of moisture landing in that geographic area by installing rain gutters. This is another situation where the paint is being removed. Paint's painted down to the top of the dirt. The dirt gets wet below the paint. Moisture transports the efflorescent salt, depositing it into concentrations and, over time, removes the paint. Pretty damp over here. Reducing irrigation. Pretty damp over here. So, the, the concrete is not damaged below the paint line. So this was the first coat of paint, this tone color here. And it was, it was removed by a fluorescent salt. Then the second coat of paint here. And this is a good example on, on what it does and how it deteriorates this vertical wall. But then below the paint, it, there's no damage. So by not even putting paint on it is an improvement. But if HOAs uh, have to have their foundations, you know, the paint color codes and that sort of thing. So when you do paint or patch, anytime you patch or paint, patch material can also come off. Paint can come off. So just go down deeper so the moisture can't get under it. Reduce the amount of moisture in these geographic areas and control the water by dirt grading and rain gutter systems that are very effective and verify that they're working correctly. This concludes my evaluation uh, that I was invited out uh, to view. My name is James Belleville. I'm the owner of Concrete Repairman LLC here in Phoenix. My phone number is 602-418-2970. And there are hundreds of videos on YouTube that you can watch that talk about all kinds of different subject matter on YouTube, Concrete Repairman LLC. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.